So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video. And as you guys know, well you probably don't know, but you will now, this is actually my first Diablo game. It's the first Diablo game I've ever played. Yes, I know about the history of the game. I know a bit about the previous games. A bit, I know the basic story of the games. But this is the first game I've actually played. And as you guys will probably expect, yes, I love this thing. I just can't pull it down. I mean, I started playing this way earlier on i can't put it down i've tried to play other games i've tried to turn back on street fighter 6 destiny can't do it diablo is swallowing my life but today guys i want to share with you a massive moment in my diablo play through my diablo life i got my first legendary drop whoop whoop how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leave a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so yes, I am what you call a Diablo noob in regards to experience with the game. I mean, yes, Diablo 4 is brand new to me in regards to me and my Diablo playthroughs. But I love this game. It's so good. I'm even thinking about going back and playing the others. Is that something you recommend? Let me know. But yes, guys, I have been farming away. Me farming this dungeon. If you don't know about this, I've made a video on this already, which I will link down below farm any dungeon but this one for me right now and for newer players is definitely the best one to do early on Annika's claim you can farm this over and over and earn tons of gold tons of legendaries tons of experience tons of everything but yes guys I also got my first legendary drop from it check it out the conceited dragon spine two-handed scythe Look at this thing on my back. What is going? This is so cool. So cool. So cool. Now it's a little lower than my actual level now. I just don't want to take it off because it's my first legendary people. I don't want to take it off. I'm now at level 22. It's well, it's seven levels below. It's a well, it requires a level 15, but I'm guessing it's well, it still works for me. It still works beautifully. I'm not gonna lie. But you can see it stats on screen 293 damage per second with 200 well between 261 and 391 damage per hit but it, it attacks pretty slow as you can see right there it's a slow weapon 0.9 uh, uh, sorry t attacks per second also i apologize about my voice i have got a flu i know i sound like a noob anyway but yes this flu don't help you get plus nine life on kill uh, plus 20% or 27% overpowered damage, plus 13% vulnerable damage, plus 14% damage to slowed enemies, and a plus 8% damage over time. It deals 43% increased damage while you have a barrier active and a plus 2 life on kill. Now me using my Necromancer and a build I'm going for, still working on it, I'll share it with you guys when it's done. But this weapon works an absolute treat, it really does. Now we also guys had another legendary drop, a little after. Same dungeon, same farm, the Necklace of Might, a legendary amulet with a 244 item power. Best thing about it is a 6% resistance to all elements, that's quite good. It's got plus 2.2% damage, to plus 2.5% uh, healing received, plus 1% total armor, uh many things guys many many things basic skills grant 20 percent damage reduction for nine seconds pretty cool pretty cool but yes all this gear i have got from that farm i mean again if you want to check out a video on it i'll link it down below but it is relatively easy to do even for a noob like me now what i will say is guys if you guys are new to this game new to the franchise of diablo looking for people to play with even looking for help do you want to offer your help do check out my discord link down below hit me up i mean if i'm free we can farm together play together really simple as that so yes i've created a dedicated channel for diablo 4 I'm trying to create a small little family over on my discord so yes go ahead and join people do what you gotta do but yes guys i thought i'd share with you this monumental moment in my life for me received my first legendary item. It's incredible, legendary two-handed scythe. Just look at that thing. Look at that. It's so cool. It's bigger than my player. It's bigger than my character. 
my necromancer. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. To let me know your first legendary item. Do you still have it? Were you attached to it like I am? Let me know. Guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.